Anubarak is a guy I play a lot. Played at nauseum when he was overpowered. Uh, carried me up quite a way in my Heroes League. So, these I'm going to need to investigate a little bit more because lots has changed. He's got more base health. He's got more base shields. They're cheaper. They're one second cooldown shorter. Impale talents now increase the damage in some regards. And the main burrow talents no longer decrease the cooldown. So there's a lot of back and forth here. Plus, our level 1 pick, the Assault Scarabs, the damage on the beetles has been increased by 5%. So... It's going to be tough. Of course, you know, for me, I played a new Brack during the heyday of the Beetle build, where you would go, Beetles do more damage. Beetles periodically spawn. Beetles heal you for 50% of the damage they deal. Wait, does that change? The damage with each attack if you are nearby. Interesting. Okay, so you do need to be nearby for it. Then, back in the day, we would go Locust Swarm so we could dive the back lane, sustain ourselves, put beetles everywhere to mess up area effects, and cause chaos. Those would heal me, the Swarm would heal me, and we'd move on with the beetles. Then, Burning Rage to increase the damage of me as I dive in and scare the back line into usually... Usually Blood for Blood, but remember, Blood for Blood was a little more powerful in the past. And then, in the end, Rewind so we could spawn as many beetles as possible in a short amount of time and rewind it up and do it all over again and just have this pile of beetles that go and attack the enemy lines. That hasn't worked in a long time. So we're going to work it a little bit differently here. The Regeneration Master is now a quest capping out at 30. So no longer can you Regeneration Master yourself to complete glory, but Regeneration Master was an essential part of the other spec that became the main for a new barack so you could sustain yourself into the mid game when you could actually tank again so you would go regeneration master onto under king for the decreased cooldown of two seconds but now under king has been changed so that you increase the range of burrow and the damage of it by a hundred percent but you no longer get a decreased cooldown which is why you took the town in the first place so that complicates things a little bit uh, the D increase on damage, though, is kind of interesting. So let's assume we're doing the same old build, that off non-Beetle build version. From here, taking a note from Calamity on Li Ming, we'd end up going with the... Ooh, ooh, ooh we got a number of different talents here. Oh, because it's the level when you would do the spines on your Carpus. So that you would shoot out a little bit of damage in the area, increase your overall damage, make yourself scarier, and add damage on an ability that otherwise had no damage, just like a Li Ming. And it was very powerful there, really upped your damage, giving another another situation where you might want to harden Carpus. But now we have Shed Exoskeleton. Use Harden Carpus to increase your movement speed by 30% for 3 seconds. So a bail button. Or a close button. But, well, I guess it would be a close. What, 7 seconds, 16 seconds, no decrease in the cooldown. Hmm... And then we have Chitinous Plating. While Hardened Carpus is active, taking damage from enemy abilities will reduce the cooldown by two, or by uh, up to three seconds. What? From abilities will reduce its cooldown. Taking damage from enemy abilities only. Reduce the cooldown only of Hardened Carpus. Huh. So each magic missile is its own instance of damage. So a little bit of anti Li Ming, perhaps. This would pair decently with our level 1 Dampen Magic Town. Upon taking ability damage, reduce that damage and further ability damage taken for 50% for 1.5 seconds. Can only trigger once every 8 seconds. Still, really powerful level 1 ability. Oh my goodness. For our anti-mage build. But for this, I guess I would want Shed Exoskeleton. Since I'm doing damage on my Underking, I want to use it aggressively. So maybe that to get me out. Locust Swarm has been in a bad place since the scaling changes. The damage it deals and healing you for 39 ago isn't enough to survive anything. And it's up to your team to do damage. You're a tank. So I think we're going to stick with Cocoon because we turn every 5v5 into a 5v4. Even better against Cho'Gall and things like that. But 
guaranteed, there's someone who could use a cocoon in every battle. Whether it's a ETC mosh pitting, a Lily using her cups, a Malfurion doing his heal, all things we can cancel out. And plus, it's a great way to get rid of Ravaging Spirits, uh, Greymane's diving my line, Ildens who have, you know, who are going to get Divine Shields and such on them. So I think for the sake of this build, uh, we're going to stick around the Cocoon talents today. Burning Rage used to be it, but here it is. Okay, so it's been moved. Casting Hardened Carpus will also deal damage to nearby enemies. Deals double damage against heroes. Hmm. What's our other one here? Bed of Barbs. Create a bed of spikes along Impale's path that slows enemies by 30% and deals damage per second. Spikes last for 3.5 seconds. That's a nice little duration. The slow is above 20%, which makes it good in my book. I like adding damage to an ability that currently doesn't have it, though. And I'll probably be in people's faces when I cast my shield anyway. Yeah. This is really cute, though. Hmm. I just want to see what it looks like. Okay. I mean, 30% isn't crazy, so I'm not going to use it to, like, be here, not stun anyone, and make a wall. That doesn't seem very effective. So, Regeneration Master, Under King. We're doing that. Shed Exo... Again, I'm, imag I'm imagining here that I'm just tanking non-burst ability damage using people. I think the spec to go anti-ability damage is pretty obvious. So we'll we'll finish out with that one. I, and we'll probably face ability damage in the custom games we're about to play because of Chromie. So yeah, let's do that Undulating Spines. Because I like Calamity. So Epicenter. Increased Burrow Charge Impact Area by 85% and lowers the cooldown by 4 seconds for each hero hit? Okay, 16 second cooldown. So, four. If I hit four heroes, I get a free one? Increase burrow charge, impact area. Impact area, too. And lowers the cooldown by four seconds for each hero hit. Wow. But wait, what's this? Beetle juiced is no longer stupid. Every third basic attack against an enemy hero spawns a beetle. Against heroes, though. Hmm. Cute idea. But. I mean, how many times are we just hitting things in our area that aren't heroes as a tank? Because it's my job to clean up Hydralisks. Uh, zone. You know, I don't know how many beetles I'd actually get from this. So I think Epicenter. It's kind of where it's at. Crypt Weave has been improved. Stay near the cocoon to allow Anubarak to extend the duration by up to four seconds. <laughs> per cocoon. That's an interesting caveat. Heart and Shield, though, maybe what we'll be taking, and then rewind for all my beetles. Double stuns, too. So I guess we can make a choice later on. Let's investigate. So in this build, I do Heart and Shield. Dive in, Heart and Shield, if I didn't get my full cooldown for some reason. Do damage, stun, explode. Cocoon, if need be. But let's see what else level up one has. The range of damage by 25%. And there's that dampened magic. So let's let's imagine the ability. Anti-caster, anti-burst. Uh, is there anyone? I mean, there's assassins that do decent ability damage. False stat, of course. It's kind of a burst roll at the moment. So let's imagine dampened magic. Basic attacks deal 60% of the basic attack damage in the area around the target. Well, I think we'd still go under king. And then we would... Taking damage. Reduces its cooldown. Up to three. Hmm. Doesn't seem... Too powerful, but... I'd have to watch the spam for the button. It's pretty big now. 658. I'm level 20 at the moment. What's that look like at level 1? We'll see in a moment. Choose a talent. Let's see. 312. Well, that ain't bad. Okay. Interesting. Choose a talent. So Dampen Magic, Underking. 
I guess chitinous plating so we can spam that baby. Plus more damage when we go the spikes later on. Still looking at Cocoon though. Hardened Carpus Deers. Yeah. Yeah, because I've decreased cooldown on it anyway. So I might as well deal double damage all the time to everything. Into Epicenter, because why not? Nothing else is really going to help here. Maybe Bud for Blood, but eh. I mean, it's still only 10%. It's a decent heal, but I don't think it's as life-saving as getting a second Burrow Charge. And then we would go with... This is still the same, right? Gain a permanent Vampire Locust. Yeah, that's, a, that's still the same. And then... I guess we'll see how things are looking at that stage, yeah? Let's imagine for a second, though, that we want to do some sort of crazy stun for days build with increased range. I guess it would still be under King. And we'd probably go with the movement speed. The cocoon into slow and damage over time. And then still, so it's not that different. Yeah, so this would be our Stun for Days build. I guess I would want to make sure that if I did go with the Lay the Trap down, that I get that extended Spines at level 1 to make sure everything's kind of maximized. But I think we're good. Alright. Mm, regeneration Master. After gathering 30 Regeneration Globes, also gain 500 health. Dampen Magic or Regeneration Master? That's a tough choice. Versus Chromie? Only triggers once every 8 seconds. 1.5. So probably a little better against Li Ming in the end. Than someone like Chromie who has to wind up. But still. Tough to say. Uh, okay. Well, I guess, well, you know, we can just take it based on the map, right? If we can't get Regeneration Globes, we can go Dampen Magic, obviously. I think we're most curious about Dampen Magic today, so let's try that out. Under King into the Chitinous Plating Cocoon. Un... something spines. <laughs> Epicenter. Probably Hardened Shield, possibly Rewind. Looks good to me. Test Plating, please. Per ability hit. So it is reduce hardened carpus cooldown. That would be this level. Taking damage from enemy abilities reduces its cooldown by 0.75. So they would have to be separate instances. So if I got hit by all the Li Ming missiles, those count as separate instances. And I would get my reduced cooldown here. Or if I were to get hit by a giant killer, that's technically spell damage. And I would get a reduced cooldown here, all stacked together. That's true. Arthas' ability would give me lots of hits. Granted, it only maxes out at three seconds while it's active, too. So, I mean, if a maximized arcane orb just comes along and slams it, I'm looking at a 0.57, you know, or 0.75 cooldown. I My shield will probably be gone. That's an interesting way to think about it. So, if I'm taking lots of tiny little ability damages then this is a great choice. But if I'm just getting slammed by a sand blast from the side, I guess this doesn't really quite work out. Yeah, so max four hits. Interesting. I think Arthas broke up top, guys. Shall we invite him out? <laughs> Let's get our Malfurion out, too. Oh, no, 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 okay, he's okay. He was okay. Oh. <laughs> it looks like he reset back to 20. Yeah, look at that thing tick. Oh, you really don't need more than that on a 7 second cooldown, though. Yeah, look at that thing go on Arthas' aura. Nope. There we go. Nope. Okay. Alright. Chromie. Kipper. Tons of damage in the previous game. Illidan, auto attack damage. Malfurion, a new Barak. So, I guess we'll watch Illidan's level 1 pick, but won't Illidan by diving me? That's ability damage, so he'll set off. 
he'll set off my shield before I want to. I think Malfurion, too, with some lunar uh, moon fires. And ETC power slides. You know what? Hmm. Blackheart's Bay, not really the best place to get orbs in the first place, but I think they may just ruin my spell shield before I'm even, you know, before I take that high value hit from Chromie. So maybe... Hmm. Could be. On this map, yeah. Plus then Illidan couldn't stand his ground and fight me. I don't know if many beetles are affected by the mosh pit. Is mosh pit only heroes? I, I, I don't know at the moment, actually. Uh, but let's, let's give it a shot. Why not? This is kind of a confusing game anyway. So let's try the beetle build. We got buffs. I love the beetle build. Whoever said it, it's your fault if we lose, because you know I love this, and you know I'd be seduced by it. Let's go ahead and just disengage. Oh, I missed. What's going on back there? Ah, just a little bit of... It's a little bit of chromy chromes. Bad news events, chromy. My beetles don't really have as much merit as like against the Li Ming, where I can just you know put beetles in the way of arcane orbs coming in. go. Little low. Oh, time trap. I'm gonna go mana up. That sounds good to me. Let's get some mana. With these five coins I'm sporting. There's Karsus making his way. Ooh. Nice kill. No, oh, well, Kerrigan agrees. Plus, with my beetles here, you know what? I can actually solo some camps, too, once they come up, so this will be fun. I love Beetle Build. Have I said that enough? I like Beetle Build. I'll go poke my face in here. I do have five coins on me, but... Oh, Chromie. Well, that was short-lived. Hey, I got a monk, though. There's stuff on the field now. And now we get... Mm. Well, you know, let's we'll, we'll commit. Let's commit to the beetle build. Ah, nice time. Ooh, things are getting busy down in bot town. And we've got seven, so I'm going to see if I can turn in here. We're all kind of grouped up. There's Chromie. There's quite a few people out of position. Everyone's grouping up, but hey, this is going to be... Actually, we're just going to have to fight and... I think we're gonna have to win a fight in order to do this with Malfurion and Chromie in the works. And I got a bail, apparently. Make sure we get Chromie out if we can. <laughs> you don't need no you don't need to make excuses, man. It's all just good practice. All right, well, with that, I'm going to go ahead. Let me see if I can solo this. Don't, don't help. Don't touch me. I think I can do this with beetles after all. And we just take a little step back. Let the beetles have aggro. Oh, nope, they died. Well, two hits anyway. 
Oh, this is gonna take way longer than I <laughs> originally intended. But still, no damage being done to me, really. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and help out. <laughs> there's no danger, but there's also a severe lack of urgency in the way Anubrak takes those things. But here, I'll get nice and turned in. No, wait, nice. Yeah, okay, cool. Two coins in there, nice. Let's see, we got Asmodan in the bottom. Let's see if we can take that. And now a uh, beetle skill me. Sure. Busy up top, isn't it? Cool. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and grab some mana while I'm here. We got a lot missing. There's Malfurion in the bottom, though, so if they are in the mid... Might as well get these six off me. And where's Illidan? Well, there's Chromie. And with her 50% reduced cooldown, did she take that? No, but she could totally spam us with sand blasts. Twitchkins is a little low, if you think we can, if we can manage it. Oh, great pull by, whoo! Nicely done, Kerrigan. Oh my goodness, what a fantastic combo you just unleashed. Uh, you know, I'd like to get greedy, but oh hey. Oh, the mines! Nicely done, Abathur. Everyone got stuck behind my fat butt. Uh, you know, do we go classic? I don't know. I mean, it seems like... With Abathur missing, though that does, you know what? I mean, let's uh, yeah, let's uh, let's cocoon the Abathur clone, make it waste its whole duration. That's, bad. That's kind of a cute idea. Oh. Oh, <laughs> etc's up here waiting for me. And then the mines that slow. No, you don't. Leave me alone. <laughs> I've got got important beetle business. Like stepping on that root. Should we re-engage, perhaps? Wait, where? Oh, that's our time. Nice. That needs a little bit of clarifying. But I guess it won't really matter for Hero League. Nicely done, Sky. There's an Abathur up top here. Let's see the next Locust, what its, its duration is. Nope. Oh. Gotta take a little time out. I guess he switched lanes. Got two on me at the moment. I agree that this is dangerous, but I still have my burrow charge. Should be okay. There's a Chromie heading towards the turn in. There's Abathur in the top. Alright, they just got their first turn in. We're all here. Ooh. Okay, ETC's gonna zone out our Kerrigan. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. Oh no! Oh, sick save! I'm out. I'm out as soon as. Ah, oh, great stun stack. That was fantastic. Come on, forts. Forts be slacking these days. Back in my day, this fort would have killed everybody. Let's do... Yeah, let's do that. Can't really think of... I mean, this slow, though, would allow my beetles to connect, perhaps. Is that what I'd want? Maybe. That's an interesting idea. I know what the other one feels like, so... Let's try Bed of Barbs and see if it helps my beetles make connects and get me more heals. Oh, with Chromie Asmodan, yeah, in the late game, we'll never let a single turn in happen. Wow, they're really feeling that slow for what it's worth. That's just a clone. Is uh, is are they gonna be okay though? Oh, relax, Karthus. Auto attack it. Well, we got a chest. Is that true? Yeah, there's still five in there. I don't know if we'll be everything's up at the moment. Yeah, and here they come. I think my beetles do attack the chest. Nah, they wander off. Yeah, let's wait for Chromie at the very least. All right, well, there's actually a turn in half. Yeah. Hmm. We need it. I think we're gonna need everybody to make this happen. There we have a slight delay, but I think that sandblast is gonna hit me. Okay. Might be a turn in. I think that'll still have quite a bit of duration on it. Abbey clones last a while. Well, that, hey, that's another delay method. All right. We're wasting an Abathur clone. I like that. That's a good strategy. Get our 16 real fast. I mean, we just stop that. I think we might want to go around the long way, but... Let's see here. Oh, you know what? Let's let's just try it. Let's see what happens. And we got nine at the moment. Okay, they got just got that. That's eight for them. Still not enough for a full turn in. We need to clean this up a little bit. And now they'll take damage by standing on it, yeah? A little bit. 86 ago. Oh no, Chromie got caught out. down on this guy. Six seconds. Hmm. 
Well, there's everyone in the top, so we have a window of opportunity to get turned in, but will they go boss is the question. So far, <laughs> zero value out of my beetle-juiced talents. There's another man. There's Chromie. There's Chromie. Yep, looks like they're going boss. Slam us a good one in there when you get a chance, Karsus. Or Chromie can take a look. There's Malfurion. That seems a little odd. Yeah, I don't think they would do the boss without their healer, but they could. And now we got chests. True, that means... Ah, uh, well, they just got turned in. Hmm. We are pushed out in that top lane. Ah, oh, sucks to lose a keep. But we're level behind at the moment. And these mines! These stasis! You know what? It's declared. Alright, it's official. Chromie... Abathur, no one ever step in a bush the rest of the game. Alright? No more, but well, you can go through this bush. This bush is okay. The essential bush is okay. Yes, we can go through a bush to check the boss. That's okay. I think Malfurion's doing the zoning. We're missing Asmodan. Oh. Come on. Darn it. This is giving Illidan the time he might need to... Is he? No, okay. Well, at least we stopped a boss, but they're up two levels at the moment. Looks like Kerrigan's in need of some aid. Oh no, that's just me! Well, you know, I am getting my cooldowns in the background for what it's worth. Darn. Hmm. Can we activate the ability to surface early? I'm not double clicking that. Can I not burrow charge while I'm rooted? Is that true? It's been so long. Well, no. We'll try. We'll find a nice. Uh, we'll find a nice little patch of green. To walk onto, and I'll try it. So if you're listening, Malfurion, uh, cast your roots towards me, and I will happily accept them for science's sake. As for this map, two levels behind at the moment. I feel like we've had great mercenary control. I mean, not bad anyway. Maybe we're just a little overinvested in the artillery department with a Karsis. Uh, <laughs> don't even say the hero's name anymore, I just say Karsis. A Asmodan. And a Chromie. I think it might be a heavy investment. Too much siege, not enough front line. But you know what? Hey, boss, walk across my spines, yeah! No, no, he's, he, he doesn't feel it because he doesn't get slowed, so I guess he doesn't take the damage. Bummer. I can still spawn beetles on him, but one slam kills him. Still, we can keep our keep. Nice. We keep. We kept the keep. The keep was kept. Oh, hey. Interesting. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. I thought there was something interesting, but no, it's fine. It was boring. Okay. We still have a keep. 
Okay, we got 10 coins on our monk. You know what? There's me, more coins. But mostly for me. <laughs> he dodged the whole thing by being in metamorphosis. That is mega lame. He dodged the Chromio by being in metamorphosis. Oh no, I don't think Kerrigan's gonna die in time. Well, hey, she did, but... Oof. Oh. Oh, that was rough. Well. This has provided very little value. This one's been different. I'm not sure if it actually is working. We'd probably be doing more damage with just this. Hmm. I guess we'll harden shield, but no one's really attacking me. I guess we'll try to rewind double spines. Yeah, we'll see. Is our core taking damage? Yeah, oh, here they come. Guess Chromie will have to kill them all. And Karsus. Oh, no, that thing's got four shots left in it. That's GG. Well, an interesting experiment. Hmm. Oh, look. Oh, and even Brandon showed up with barely any health. Uh. Okay. Well, we'll let the stats tell the story. So, Kipper, bleeding and damage. But they had an Abathur, too. So, I guess the front line of ETC and Illidan with the occasional extra Illidan was too much for our Chromie and Asmodan, which are not good against Illidan. We can declare that much. So Illidan, an awesome pick for the particular comp he was versing. And yeah, that's about that. Not too much to read into there. Anything interesting though on the stats? Crazy how Illidan's Metamorphosis, a perfectly timed metamorphosis, dodged a chromy heroic. I mean, granted, his is heroic, so heroic for heroic, maybe. But that was a little crazy. Ooh, look at this picture. That's a nice little picture. I haven't seen that before. Vel, I think your respect was spot on, man. I don't know what you could have done differently. We got a little level behind, you know. Hmm. Yeah. Double Ilden versus double mage. I think is where we put that. This will be a ton of spell damage coming for my tender bug buns. So this should be a, a really great, <laughs> very painful experience, but we'll see how it works out. So Morales for us. We got a double tank though to protect him. I don't want to body block ETC, but I guess I do want to take advantage of the groupies. I don't think the new hot slogs allows me to see healing done, but let's me see. You know, we'll check it. Let's check an individual match after this. Maybe it'll tell me how much damage you put out through groupies. That'd be interesting to see. Living bombs, chromy stuff, bright wings, Zagaras, and Muradin. It's a good time to do some anti magic stuff. Yes! Let's throw out the Discord real quick. So if you are on my team, there you go. If you're not on my team, bring it on. <laughs> Listen close and make this harder for me because it's all good practice. Though I can only assume it would be quite confusing. Ooh. I love a Nubarak. I think he's he's always it's just so much damage. So it's just a fantastic character. Just huge fan of him in Warcraft 3, man. That game meant so much to me when I was younger. And his arrival in the campaign was legendary. Looks like we might be waiting a little bit, though. As we seem to have freezed up, maybe someone got disconnected. I can't say that I'm faithful. I feel like I've moved on. But, you know, that's just sort of the... The dirtiness of rank one, perhaps, is that you have to keep 
with the meta and there comes a time when you can't skeleton king anymore cuz it's just not good baby versus arthas this is match 2 of 2 of the anubarak games and then we'll move on to patron games which there might still be some spots available for we'll see stick around all right well against that cop let's good luck have fun May your spells hit my dampened magic. 50% reduced damage for 1.5 seconds can trigger only once every 8 seconds. That should be enough. Careful of the spiders. Woo, spin party. Oblivious is way better at spinning than I am. Yeah, see, that's the one. That's the worst dance in the game. Probably one of the best, but I mean the worst user of bone physics. But I guess as a necromancer, he could manipulate his own bones. So maybe it would work out. Maybe he could dance like that. Oh, we got a kipper. All right, that triggered my spell shield. Now I've got eight second cooldown. There it is, it's back. So used to Orban though. Twitchkins, what level does your groupies take off? What level do I need to start hugging you? Thirteen, okay. Yeah, we'll go in. Well, it's Spider Queen, so we're not really holding out for anything particular. Hey! I just took a sandblast and barely felt it. And it's back already. Wow, eight seconds goes by fast. I mean, you know, when you're not in the middle of combat and you're not exploding every five seconds. Lasts such a great amount of time, too. That burden has no leap. Oh, now he does. Alright, heading back top. I'll save the orb for you, Twitch kittens. That green looks great, but it's kind of hard to see on certain maps. Blackheart's Bay, in particular. It was hard to pick out the chromy chrome from the normal business of green happening on the seaside. Here, I think we'll do that Under King we talked about. Okay. And, well, well, the tick actually lasts longer than my full shield duration, it seems. We got some people piling up in the middle, some squishies of sorts. So be it. That shield seems to do quite a bit of work, but then again with Morales on your team. And Cheesy Bob's doing a good job taking care of me. There's really no telling what hurts and what doesn't. Either way. Oh, wow. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> Not too pleased about finding me, are they? Oh! 
Muradin, always ruining everything with his skills. I've got a well. Oh, I don't need one. Well, I'll still use my well. Keep your mana. There's an orb. I don't want to touch it. Where you at, groupies champ? It's blinking. Time's up. I don't feel like diving tower range for Kael'thas. Hmm. Let's see. So here we're going to do that. Yeah, the cooldown decrease on abilities. Nope, time. Just a little breather. Hook me up with a Hydra. Eh, well, hey, <laughs> decrease cooldown, right? I guess I can afford to do things like that, maybe. I'm not really sure yet. Seemed like a cute idea. I got a well. Pump pimp. Pump pimp. Oop, up. Hey, dodge it. Oh, sweet cooldown. Ah, uh, shouldn't do it. But I did. Hey, I walk out. No big deal. It ain't no thing. Just tanking. Uh, let's do the one in the top. Well, Chromie's gonna fire at us over the wall. Sweet cooldowns. Oh, pardon me. Pardon, sorry about the bombs. Uh, let's do... You know what? Well, I mean, there's no super... Super person on their team. You doing Mosh Pit, too? Yeah, okay, let's do Locust Swarm. Can't think of who I would actually want to remove. Even a Brightwing doesn't pump out such wicked healing that we need to lock her down for such a short time. What's going on up here? like a 24 gem Muradin is what's going on. It's getting really busy at this top one. Looks like it's busy too in the bottom. Oh, looks like they got it. That's all right. Jeez, Bob's okay on mana. But let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and grab my well. We can get crazy since I'll have a little bit of overlap. All right, let's burn it. Oh, Zul needs some help. Oh, he's still going. Oh, I'm a stim to Nubarak. Stim to Bugman. Stim Bugman.
Yeah! Oh wait, <laughs> those aren't ours. <laughs> Despite the sweet victory of a fight, we gotta go defend. Can I get two in one go? Yes! I am the Crypt King. Before the wave? Nah. Oh! Ah, oh. uh, lost the well. I could probably use a little mana. Myself. Or we can just play conservatively for a little bit. What is Anubrax old passive regen on his mana? Four. Not bad. I'm taking down that mid fort. That's my plan. 24 seconds on mine. Yeah, we got a while. Before we get to get that loud again. Lunara wants to drink. Old drunk Lunara. Let's do that undulating... Eradicating? Well, you know what? Actually, it really reduces my cooldown by hanging out in that. That's it's probably not a very effective plan, but... It's kind of cute. Alright, I'm all out of cooldowns at the moment. Oh, pardon me. Sorry, winged. Oh, sorry. That was totally my bad. Uh-oh. Going back in time. Oh, it's a clutch mosh. Oh, well, hey, you know, maybe a spider in the area will get the business done. We were just a little too far ahead of it. Meanwhile, nah, Zagar will be able to clean that up. But we got their well. That's good. A little bit of a chokehold on the base for now. Good opportunity to farm up some gems. And then what, a 16 will do that. We did the ability one, right? And then we go, I guess, Epicenter because we went under King. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll avoid Beetlejuice in the future. Blood for Blood could be interesting on Murd. And did he Avatar? He did. Hmm. Well, we'll see when we get there. No. Lives. Oh, winged is getting pretty aggressive. Now, one bad thing about this. But I do have the decreased cooldowns on the hardened carpet, so I guess it really doesn't matter. But one bad thing about taking the damage on it is I could use my... I might be encouraged to use my shield or my carpus when I otherwise should save it for ability damage and whatnot. Yeah, hook me up. Hook me up with that ability damage. Alright, I do want some creeps before I go taking that out, but I am planning to take it out. Oh, nice! Round the back there, Oblivious. I'm a stemmed bug man. I hit no heroes. I get no cooldowns today. Uh, epicenter. Oh, right. No, I hadn't gotten the thing yet. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't peg you for the yeah boy type. Cheesy Bob, but yeah, the celebration's a celebration. I'm gonna go ahead and get topped off. Interesting. Well 
wonder if I can be underground for the whole temporal loop and avoid it. Because I'm unstoppable to a extent, but I don't know physically if I'm still there. Would Johanna's iron skin break temporal loop? Does unstoppable just straight break it? Oh yeah, Clen stops it. Yeah, so it'd work, it'd work. Sure, that, that does warrant it, Cheesy Bob. I feel you there. We got some spiders going on. Right into the green. I am here to absorb your spells. Nope, that was that was wrongly aimed, Kipper. There we go, that was a good one. Two-second cooldown on that guy. All right. Yeah. Whoa! The long Baneling's talent. Thank you for the top off. It is over. Oh, we lost ETC. Yeah, so we are at a bit of a disadvantage here. I think they'll be busy enough cleaning up. I'm just going to start it. And if this is a bad idea, we'll back out, all right? If anything shows its face, we're getting out of here. Let's switch positions. Let's get the squishies on the left and me on the right. There we go. Oh, we got incoming. Oh, but we're so close. I know. We need to break. All right, finish it off, Zool. Rampage and bug man. Alright, my, my rampage is over. <laughs> Help me, Cheesy Bob. Oh, we got a cigar trying to get away. Oh, it wasn't needed. Side door. Beetles cover the entrance. I'm out of mana. Oh, there, uh, yeah. Probably shouldn't uh, do that when I'm out of mana. But, but, well, no. No. It was okay. But now we'll have to be all careful and stuff again. Nice hit back, Cheesy Bob. So, guitar solo heals nearby heroes for health while it's active, which is the same amount as the normal guitar solo does, so it's based off of prog rock, which has no cap, interestingly enough. Hmm. Okay. That sounds nice on paper, doesn't it? But we are yet to have a victory, Twitch kids. We shall see. But I can't hug you a little more. I can definitely stay in the area of that to get those sweet, sweet heals. Ah, uh, hmm. Well, you know what? Eh, it's tough to say. But you know what? This combo, I don't really need rewind. I don't have any beetles, so but no beetle talents, no beetle build. Let's just do the harden. Oh, they are there, aren't they? Looks like he's going back. I'll block it. 
Oh, that's quite the choke. The cigar business there. More choky than I thought we would be choked. That's a bingo. I want, I want Kipper. Who doesn't want to kill a Kipper? Oh, oh nice! Well done, GG! Hey, who Harrison Jones? Well, well done to you. <laughs> Nicely done. Some sick escapes by a Bliv there. Man, that was some cool stuff to see. Okay, Cheesy Bob always Harrison's. Hands down, Cheesy Bob is the Harrison master. Let's see what we got in the day. Wow. Well, I did get stimmed quite a bit. That was fair. But that divide, holy crap. To put me 20,000 damage above a Lunara. Huh. Oh my goodness, Zool. 211,000 siege damage. You were a dedicated man. I guess we can see why Lunara was kept busy as well. And allowed me to take top damage for the team. Chromie putting out 100... Oh my goodness. The burst in this game is getting unreal. Jeez, to be that far above the next person on the enemy team. And we still won it with that much damage. Even, well, Kipper's got a lot of practice today on his Chromie. So we can say that much. That Kipper has become quite the adept Chromie. And it'll be sad for Kipper. Uh, well, granted, we've been doing custom games. So it's not like he's been leveling up anyway. But I'm sad you don't get to keep all those sweet levels. And you can't be ready to master skin day one. Because that was hot. Good tanky by Argentina boy, too. Only four deaths on him. That, that was cool. Double tank, maybe. That's where I got the survivability. That's where I certainly got to get more aggressive. Uh, there was no super assassin or really any, a super support that I would want to cocoon. So I got to go even more aggressive with the Locust Swarm. But this was a lot of fun. Yeah, well, and then, yeah, Cheesy Bob was doing such a great job on Morales... With the safeguards and all, it's hard to tell what actually was absorbed by my talents. This, this chitinous plating, though, was really cool, actually. And did come into play decently. Yeah. It was frequent enough. Yeah, the living bomb ticks last longer than my level 1 dampened magic. So I did need a little bit of help against Kael'thas. 